All right, Mike here, Sky Include. There's amazing content coming out, and this has been something I've been wanting to learn myself, and I found it. Sean Murray, uh, 3531.eth on Twitter. He's doing awesome, and he's really sharing a lot of great info, and he made a nice seven-minute video going from start to finish of bringing in a Web2 domain. Like, uh, um, I think there's certain ones that you can do, but ones that are supported, he brings it over into ENS domains on Ethereum, and it's a great video. I got permission. I, I think it's great for the Sky Include channel for everybody here to learn about Web3 domains. And, you know, um, ENS is amazing. I, I love what they're doing there. And, and he's uh, he's doing great stuff on his content. So thanks, y'all, for letting me republish this. You're going to go check out this video from start to finish. Enjoy. Right now, we're going to import a DNS domain into ENS. We're literally going to turn a Web2 domain into Web3. Follow along here. I'm going to go into my Namecheap account. Namecheap is a registrar, and I'm going to turn 555.money into an ENS name. So I have 555.money, the domain name. I've already registered it, and I own it, and I'm going to turn it into an ENS name. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my account on Cloudflare. That's where I'm going to manage all of my DNS settings. I already have an account, so I'm not going to sign up. That's what you'll need to do. It's free to sign up. Once you're on Cloudflare, you'll click Add a Site. Click that button right there, and you're going to type in the name of the domain you own. 555.money is my domain name. Click that. gives you a bunch of options. We're going to choose the free one. You do not have to pay if you don't want to. Click Continue. This is totally free to do. It's going to import all of your DNS settings from Namecheap, but they don't, they don't really matter. So click continue, and you're going to copy the name servers from Cloudflare into Namecheap. So go in here, custom DNS, copy, paste, copy, paste, and save it. Very good. Now go over here, click that button over there. We're going to enable something called DNSSEC. This is a very, very, very important step. No matter what registrar you use, you're going to have to have DNSSEC enabled. The domain itself, the Web2 domain itself, must be DNSSEC compatible. 90% of domain names are. It can take up to 24 hours for DNS settings to propagate. In my experience, they can be done in as quick as 10 minutes even sooner. So we're going to wait just a moment here, see what happens. Okay, active. Great. We're going to click that. Click DNS settings over here. Scroll down. Now over here, we're going to enable DNS sec on this side over here. Click that button. It's going to give you a bunch of pieces of data. You don't even need to know what any of this stuff means technically. I could explain it to you, but that's for another time. What we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste some of it into Namecheap. Remember this screen here? We're going to start copying and pasting. Key tag, copy key tag, paste it in the key tag. Guess what? Sometimes I make mistakes when I'm rushing. Right now I'm copying and pasting the wrong thing. Look what happens. Oh, nope, something's wrong. I copied and pasted the wrong thing in the wrong field. It'll tell you when you're doing something wrong. Let's start doing the other pieces first. Algorithm, it was number 13. Now we're going to go look at the digest type. It was that one. Let's get that all squared away. That was the wrong thing there. Let's get the digest. Copy and paste that one right there. Paste, save, all right, we are making great progress so far. All this needs to propagate again. We're going to go into ENS, you know the site. Hey, hey, we typed in 555.money, 
We didn't even type in a .eth name. Look at that. Look, look at the screen we're getting. Set up a text record in your domain registrar and type in all this information. Did you know you could do that? Type in your web2 domain instead of your .eth? Well, look at these special instructions we're getting. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow the instructions. Go back here. Add a record that you the TXT record, which is following the instructions we got. It said put underscore ENS. That's what it told us to do. And type in A equals the wallet address that's going to register the domain. This is your crypto wallet address. A equals your crypto wallet address that you're going to use to register the domain in ENS. Go back here. Let's click refresh. Ah, hey, look at that. DNS owner is, is me. It knows already. All right, let's click refresh again. I'm supposed to see another button pop up here. Let's just click this again. All righty. Oh, it says register. The refresh button has turned into register. That is good news. We're going to click register. It says, hey, it knows it's me. Welcome back to MetaMask. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's expensive to import a domain. Right now, gas is high, relatively high, $76, uh, $84.81. This is the catch to importing a DNS domain. The good news is you only need to pay a one-time import fee. There is no annual renewal fee on an imported domain. You will have to pay your regu regular renewal fees with your registrar but not with ENS. This is a one-time ENS fee, and then it's imported into ENS forever for as long as you own the domain itself. Hey, 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 it has been successfully added. We can now view it in the manager, just like it was a regular .eth name. Let's click view in manager. Look at that. Controller is me, DNS owner is me, that's my wallet address, 555.money. This is my ENS name now. It's, there's no .eth component to it. It's a real ENS name, 555.money. You can send money to 555.money. How cool is that? Let's see if it works. 555.money, does that work? Hey, a wallet address came up. That's the wallet address, that's correct. Maybe this thing will work. Let's give it a try. And done. You are a 555.money, or rather I am. Thank you for watching. All right. Thanks again, Sean. Hope everybody enjoyed. That was uh, great. I watched it a couple times already and uh, love to hear your comments and feedback and uh, send them a tip 3531.eth or I guess 555.money. <laughs> Cheers.